Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This video is about my light carry setup slash bag that I have right here that is based on the IC13 invert bandolier platform. And when worn, it looks just like this. This is the first time I'm actually trying out this kind of setup for the channel and I would really appreciate your feedback. So let me know if it's like too dark or if it's a bit strange or something because like I don't really talk about products or things or kind of review stuff in this kind of angle so yeah and I thought that since we're talking about a bag or how I've set a bag up I would try this angle I do have to say however this is not a review of the invert bandolier there are really awesome reviews out there on YouTube this is really about getting this bandolier and setting it up in a completely different way from what it was intended to be because I thought it was cool so once again I emphasize this is not a review on the invert bandolier but I will share my thoughts on the quality and build and everything towards the later part of the video I'd like to highlight I like that I live in Singapore. I'm a true blue Singaporean and here in Singapore, firearms are not legal. So with that in mind, the intention is to have this invert bandolier being used as a sort of light carry sling bag of sorts. Of course, to have it as a bandolier style is really cool. It's something unique, something different. And I like having access to everything across the chest, but I could just swing it around and then it becomes a typical sling bag configuration of sorts. Kind of like that, yeah? But doing that would defeat the purpose of why I wanted to get this in the first place. So let's dive right in. I don't think anyone else is doing this kind of thing here in Singapore. So just trying out something new and kind of wanting to be unique and a little bit different in that sense as well. So without going too deep in depth about the invert bandolier, I'm just going to tell you guys the attachments I've got on it. And let's start with this. This here is an IC13 mag pouch and the mag pouch is actually an open top style mag pouch if you want to get the short cords with the pull tabs you have to buy them separately so initially i bought it but i completely forgot that these were actually meant to be mounted upside down so the tabs were kind of in my face and to mitigate that i have it tied in a different configuration and i also attached an extra bit of paracord on top of the pull tab and that is done to aid me with a little bit more grip and i will get to that shortly the next attachment that i have here is a helicon tex competition utility pouch and this however is in the helicon tex shadow gray color now everything else here from ic13 is in the wolf gray color and because i actually ordered everything online i wasn't able to kind of compare the shades of gray one to one next to each other and so this shadow gray is actually slightly darker than the wolf gray and it's kind of like irritating me a little bit so i kind of regret getting this in shadow gray i could have got it in full black or maybe shadow gray with black accents at least then maybe it would have made the contrast a bit less jarring for me at least i feel that it's like uh, it's kind of standing out but yep this is the helicon tex competition utility pouch and last but not least down here is the ic13 pistol mag pouch so i've got this here on the side and it sits just under my arm and this is exactly the configuration that I was going for. Now let's talk about the other attachments or the other kind of accessories that I have on the bandolier. Starting with this, this is a glow molly clip and this was given to me by Roy. You guys know Roy. Roy of the EDC for Life group. This is such an awesome gift. Thank you, Roy. I really appreciate it. And this goes right here as kind of like a marker so it glows up here on my shoulder it's quite awesome actually when it glows and it really glows very bright next up here is a ranger eye patch that i kind of salvaged from a passport slash travel wallet it is by the brand ape and it is the only ranger eye patch that i have so i just put it on here because i thought it looked cool <laughs> next up on the competition utility pouch are a pair of zipper pulls that i tied i got rid of the original zipper pulls because they were in shadow gray <laughs> i just wanted to do something different so i tied these for a splash of color and on the front here the main feature is the mamu penguin second anniversary patch really proud to actually own one of these i got lucky when i inned so i managed to snag one yay i'm officially a penguin commander now thank you benjamin <laughs> On the other side of the competition utility pouch, I have a Tritium Lantern. This one is known as the Rostov by Dark Attic Works. And I think that the Etsy store is now defunct. So I guess I got lucky and snagged this. I actually got this like maybe possibly a year ago. I just did not attach it to anything. And with new gear, I want a unique Tritium Lantern on it. So the Rostov goes right here. On the other side is a Nerf Retaliator patch. I think you guys have seen this one before. So... Once again, I cannot remember who's the one that gave me this patch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm really bad at this, so I apologize. Please don't be angry with me. If I manage to find out, I'll put the person's name on screen. I really apologize. I feel so bad. 
but I love the patches and this one is the Retaliator. This kind of just harkens back to my other hobby. So yeah, it's a nice reminder and I think it looks cool. And that's it for the attachments or the extra stuff that is on here. Now I'm going to tell you guys about what I'm carrying in this setup because I mentioned to you guys this is my light carry setup. And the first thing of course is a very important item during this particular period of time. It is a bottle of hand sanitizer that sits right here. Now this pouch of course is very versatile and you can have multiple uses for it but it holds my hand sanitizer in there very well and like I mentioned to you guys I have the closure in a different tight configuration so what happens is that there's a tab here all I have to do if I want to access that bottle of sanitizer is to reach for the pull tab that I tied out of paracord and lift it up and then I can access it just like that when I'm done with it I just have to slide it back into the pouch and then grab the pull tab and slide it behind the pouch into the PELS slot. And with that, it is secure, but I can add an extra layer of security by making sure that the shock cord goes around the top or the cap of the sanitizer. And now there's two layers of security for the hand sanitizer in this pouch. Next, I'm gonna talk about the stuff in the Helicontext pouch. I know it's gonna be difficult to show you guys like this, so I'm gonna be taking some B-roll here and there so you can refer to that. Now, I'm gonna open it up. There are a whole bunch of stuff in here. First of all is an extra face mask. Now this one is a Uniqlo Arism face mask and it is an extra one that I have just in case I need it for whatever reason. Now the next item here is a pack of wet wipes. I perspire quite a bit so I use wet wipes quite often and the secondary use for wet wipes is to clean my shoes when they get dirty. Yeah, I'm quite OCD about that so I apologize. I do wipe off my shoes whenever it gets muddy or dirty and yeah, it's just a pet peeve of mine, so I carry this with me. Next is a power bank. And yeah, I know I could go for a smaller size power bank, but this is the one I use. I guess I'm kind of lazy to get another one, like a smaller one. But yeah, I mean, I could go for a smaller one and that would leave me a bit more space in this pouch. But yes, it holds this and of course it holds the charging cable as well. Next, I have a Rovivon Aurora A7 mini sized flashlight. I think this is really... <sighs> I don't want to blind you guys, but yeah, this is... A pretty awesome flashlight but what i like about this thing is that it also has a secondary lamp feature and it looks kind of like this so yeah it just glows all around i think it's quite cool i mean on top of just being a standard flashlight right the next item is a spider Knox rambler made by mini swiss knives on ig i won't be going into detail about this but yeah i make it a point to carry a small size or a mini sized multi-tool so yep this is the one that i'm carrying now the stuff that i've removed and showed you guys so far all sit in the front half of the pouch this pouch actually comes rather empty it's just a standard pouch with some elastic bands here or whatever these are called like what um flex panels or something like that. Yeah, some separators, right? But the back wall of the pouch is actually made of Velcro, so you can attach anything with a hook side. And so I've attached a Velcro flex panel in here. You guys can hear that. And having this panel offers me more customizability where I could add anything I want in any of these loops here. But on the back, I actually have my earphones. Music is my life and I really need these. I think I should start thinking about getting wireless earphones but anyway as of now I'm still using these. These are my Monk earphones and I actually got the Enda Burrito Wrap but it sits right in there. It's also got my iPhone attachment dongle here. Then I have a Carver's custom pouch that holds some personal first aid or personal medication. So I've got some band-aids in here. I've got some Panadol, AKA Tylenol. I've got some pills that will help with runny noses, a bad throat, things like that. And it's all just personal medication. You never know when you'll need it. It's always good to have with you. Next is an item that is unique to my PPE and that is an extra vent slash filter piece for my gill mask because whenever you use a surgical face mask you have to replace the mask every four hours so whenever i'm done with one i have a replacement on hand on the go of course the gill mask doesn't fit inside this pouch but it's on my face right if not it'll be hanging from my neck and last but not least is something that i actually don't find myself using much but i have anyway it is a notebook and my pen actually sits in my pocket so it's not going to be on this pouch at all. But yeah, you know, I believe in having a notebook on your carry because you never know when you need it. I never know when I'll need it. And that is it for all the items in the Helicontext pouch. Now let's talk about the last pouch, which is on the side. And I put it here for a very specific reason. Now, first of all, I'm left-handed. But whenever I use a knife or use the keys to open the door, I do so with my right hand. And so having the pocket knife here on this side makes it really easy for me to access with my right hand. All I gotta do is just reach across and I can access that pouch. So I'm gonna turn a little bit to the side and show you guys where the pouch sits, right? And so this is how I access it 
just with the right hand, I'll reach across and I'll feel for the pull tab because it's the same configuration that I tied for this particular pouch here. So yep, just feel for the pull tab and I can open it up. Then feel for the other pull tab or the lanyard on my knife. And so I can access the knife just like that. Then I can deploy it and do whatever task I need to get done. And when I'm finished with it, all I gotta do is just close up the knife. Then I can just simply feel for the pouch here, slot the knife back into place then grab the pull tab and insert that tab into the top slot of the PELS panel and it is secure again. So that's the reason why I have it set up in that way. Now while we are done with the pouches and how I access them, how I use them, we are not done with the entire setup. The invert bandolier platform actually has a sternum strap and it is sitting right here underneath and going around the left side. Now I don't have the quick pull tab to access the sternum strap. I'm using the standard quick release buckle here, but it's very easy to access as well. I just have to undo it with my left hand, swing it around behind, and then pass it over to my right hand and then reattach the sternum strap just like that. And this is a little bit loose, as you can see. This is completely fine by me because I'm not looking for it to be super tight. But if I do want it really, really tight against myself, let's say, for example, in a situation where I'm going to start riding a bicycle or maybe hop on a motorbike and I don't want this shifting around a lot, maybe even just running, for example, I can easily just tighten this thing. And to do that, this is the way I've set it up. I will first disengage it and then lengthen it or tighten it behind my back and then reattach it. And I actually have the mic right here. So if I turn around and start speaking, the mic won't pick up my voice very well. So yeah, I just want to kind of show it to you guys, right? I'll try my best, but here we go. Just disengage this thing behind my back. I'm going to tighten it. So all I got to do is just pull this and then tighten it. Then now it's going to be really tight right under my arm. So this is super tight now and it is not going to shift no matter what I do. And that is one of the biggest pros about this particular bandolier. I love it. It doesn't shift around. I have mobility, full mobility of my arms. Like, like, it's really awesome. And to loosen it, I just got to do the same thing, just the other way. So, yeah. And that's it. There is just one more thing about this setup that I want to share with you guys, and that's the fact that I actually have a hero clip in between the pouch and the bandolier platform itself and it's sitting right there. I actually have this secured via a paracord and I just looped that in the simple knot in between two of the PELS webbing slots. I gotta tell you guys, the Hero Clip is really awesome. It's a super underrated product. This is the small sized Hero Clip and this actually holds up to 50 pounds. That's 22 kilograms. It's crazy for what it is. It's always good to have this because, you know, sometimes when you sit down and you want to chill out at a cafe and then just hang this off the side of a table, off the back of a chair or around a rail or something and then hands-free. It's just super awesome. So as I bring this full circle, once again, this is the way I have the invert bandolier set up. It is something that I find really unique, very modular, super customizable and I think it's something different, you know? Not using it for its intended purpose of having mags and stuff easily accessible. I think that's really cool, don't get me wrong, but it's just so cool to the point that when I saw it, I was like, wow, I could possibly use this for a lightweight carry. And so this is it. I should mention though, that this looks a lot larger on me. I'm about 165 centimeter tall and I'm definitely not skinny. I'm not very well built either. I'm a little bit, I guess, pudgy because I do have a belly, a little bit plump in certain areas, but yeah, this is my build and uh, yeah, I'm not the biggest guy around. So if you find yourself wondering why the bandolier looks a little bit larger on me, that is the reason why. I actually cut off this much excess from the straps on the back because if not, it'll be looping and looping and looping and it'll be like one thick layer of strap just hanging off the back. So I cut it off and it's a lot neater now, a lot more comfortable. My verdict for the Invert Bandolier is that it is a really, really well-made product. Whether you're using it for its intended purposes or if you want to get it and kind of put different attachments like the way I have, you know, it's a really solid platform. I think $79.99 US is really worth every single dollar for it. The core of it is made of a really dense kind of foam. I'm not sure if it's like ballistic foam or memory foam or something. I apologize guys, I'm not a foam expert, but I have to say it's really well made. The stitching is all on point. Everything is just really solid and that layer of foam really helps it to keep its shape. But I think that the mag pouches are a little bit expensive. Now, of course, I'm not well versed in that whole entire market, you know, firearm accessories, mag pouches and things like that. And this small pouch here was like 
99 US dollars and this slightly larger pouch here was like I think it was 29.99 and for that I think it's really expensive for what it is because it comes with the pouch and that plastic attachment to help you hook it onto your Pell's webbing but it does not have a closure on top so if you want to close it up you have to find a way to do so and if you want to get the shock cord with the pull tabs you have to buy it separately so that's an additional item you have to buy so yeah, uh, in my opinion, that's not really worth it. This Helicontext pouch is not so bad. I got it locally, so it's a lot cheaper. It's about like 30 or 40 Singapore dollars. So if you guys are well versed in this whole world of Molly compatible attachments or pouches with like Pell's webbing and things like that, then maybe you could think of like really interesting ways to set this up. For me, I actually saw it and I had that vision in mind. And so I really wanted to make that idea a reality. And so here it is. It's really set up just for me. I really like this platform and what it offers. I think it's cool, something different out there. I've said all of this before, I will stop saying it again. I gotta stop repeating myself. I apologize. IC13 produces a revolver pouch or a revolver bag that was actually intended to be attached to the invert bandolier system and I'm waiting for that. And that would sit perfectly in the center of the back. And I, I really want that. It's just that it's sold out. I don't know when they will have that in stock again, but I'm looking forward to that. Whether or not it is going to be value for money, I don't know, but it definitely looks awesome. And it's going to be a wonderful expansion to this particular setup. Because in my opinion, the biggest thing that is missing from this setup is the ability to carry a water bottle. And I really, really want to think of a way to do that. I'm thinking of getting just standard water bottle attachments, but you know, I think that the revolver pouch would be able to hold a water bottle. I don't know yet, just gotta wait for that. And that is it everyone. Thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found this informative some way or other. And thank you for letting me be me and do this thing and share it with you guys. I really appreciate it. If you like the content that I'm putting out, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell to be notified of any new uploads that I put out. Also, I run a Patreon page. I'll put a link up there or up here I should say, to that in case you want to go check it out. There are some patron exclusive giveaways from time to time. There is also patron exclusive content there. So that is something that you can look forward to if you're intending to become a patron of mine. And if you do, then thank you so much in advance. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Once again, everyone, this is my light carry setup based on the IC13 invert bandolier. And I will catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then, everyone, gaga boost.